G'day and welcome to another Food, Wine, Pets, Travel podcast. I'm Brian Pickering. And I'm Kay Brown. Together, we're on a zigzag tour of Australia, keeping a very close eye out for the smaller, less commonly mentioned locations, like Merriam Vale, a very pretty little Queensland town located oh, roughly halfway between Bundaberg and Gladstone. Now, both Wikicamps and various Facebook groups recommended Miriam Vale's local pub would be a great place to stay overnight. And it was. Taking advantage of the fact that it's a free camp, kind of, uh, there was a bit of an implied hint we could return the favour by purchasing a drink or two and even a meal. Turns out that was a pretty good decision because not only were the meals we ordered typically huge and country style yummy, but we also learned a lot about the town and its history from the locals. Absolutely. Mitch, <laughs> nice to meet you, Mitch nice, Brennan. Nice to meet you both. Yeah. And uh, where are we in comparison to places that uh, listeners would know? Okay, we're halfway between Bundaberg and Gladstone. That's a pretty nice spot. Mm. It certainly is a very quirky hotel that you've got here, though. I'm looking around at some of the amazing objet d'art. Yes. That's objects of art. I'm looking at a beer and there's horns and things. Describe it for those who can't see it. I try to create an old school pub. It's an old school pub. It's um, It was built in 1897, originally three kilometres down where the radio grounds are now, mm-hmm. but it got flooded twice in in the year, so they cut it in half and brought it up by bullet wagon uh-huh. and sat it here. Um, the story goes that it used to face this way. That was the front of the pub, and then when they put the railway line through, they oh, made the front of the pub face the <laughs> railway line because mm-hmm. obviously back then that was a major part of the town. Yeah, everything I've, that I've got on the walls there is, um, either belongs to me or has been donated by local people. So it's, yeah, like the horns and the old signs and just the old hats and and the, the whatnots. It's, I, um, I uh, love it. I um, Memories from um, way back of, of seeing people buying things like cold duck. Yes. Which was a ghastly drink, apparently. Yes. And then the, the, that beautiful sign, <laughs> the story behind that was I, um, about six months ago, a local guy that lives here, he came and said to me, he said, I've just cleaned out my father's shed. And he said, when I was 17 years old, he said, I stole a sign from the Mirrenvale pub after football one day. So he brought it back six months ago and I hung it on the wall and um, he's now 57. So it's been in his dad's shed for about 40 years. Well, it's good to say that the town is full of honest people. Yes, very honest. And um, <laughs> a bit like we we were accidentally not charged for dinner, so we came and paid yeah. the bill this morning. Very nice, yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah. which was a unique way of us getting him to talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Um, so what about some of these other things? There is the bear. What's the story behind the bear? Okay, every November we do a Miriam Vale Hotel woodshop. Right. It's a huge day. Uh, we do everything from like axes, chainsaws, cross-cut sawing. We have the old guys that cut the sleeves yeah, with the bow saws. Yeah. Um, in the Bundy Bear, we, uh, there's a guy by the name of uh, Matt Bird. He's a chainsaw carver, so he carved that. You know, it went up for auction and uh, I had to buy it. Mm-hmm. I had to, had to come into the pub. So that was carved in four and a half hours out of a seven-foot high blue gum log. Wow. That had been laying on the ground for about seven or eight months, so mm-hmm. it sort of started dry out a little bit. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece. It's cool. I could spend hours just talking about it. So there are so many different little pieces of art, but if someone comes across something that they think might be suitable, should they get in touch? Oh, that'd be fantastic, yep. <clears throat> okay. Yes. So but, what's the best way to do that? Have you got a website? Yeah, yep. We've got a um, uh We're on Facebook. I've just got Instagram up and going, thanks wow. to my brother. <laughs> it just seems to be the big thing now. He's a younger, he's a younger brother, yeah. is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Insta, you don't say Insta. Yeah, 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 Insta. Oh. Hashtag. Everything's <laughs> hashtag. Yeah. Good on you. Oh, it's wonderful. Thank you so much for having a chat with us today, and we look forward to coming back again. Definitely, yeah. It was great to meet you, and I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed your stay. Absolutely. Best day I've had in years. Huge. <laughs> great. Awesome. You want more podcasts Thank like you. this? Just go to foodwinepetstravel.com. <laughs> <laughs>